Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett. Welcome to Objective C for Absolute Beginners. This is our second course um, in going over the chapters in the Objective C for Beginners uh, book. And um, we're going to do about maybe 10-15 minutes tonight on um, what we've uh, talked about on last Wednesday, which was classes, methods, instance variables, and instantiation. Except for tonight, we're going to do it in the Alice um, operating, uh, let's say operating system, inside the Alice IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, and learn a little bit more how, uh, how the principles apply. And then next week, we'll do our first Objective-C, Hello World, using the same, um, the same principles we've learned using Alice. Only we don't need to focus so much with Alice on the complex IDE that we have with... Um, with Xcode. So that makes it nice. So these classes are offered live every Wednesday night at uh, 6.30 Pacific Time. And you can um, enroll and see them live if you go to my forum here. Just a second. Let me bring it up. And if you go to excelme.com scroll down here to where it says the training forums go to the book and you can now click on any one of the uh, topics and go through the registration process and they're every Wednesday night you can attend live of first 10 minutes or so is basic background and information on that particular chapter kind of a summary and then any type of Q&A that uh, you may have um, on that particular chapter. So let's go ahead and um, start looking at that information. Go ahead and minimize that. All right, so what we talked about last week on Chapter 1 was we went through basically why we're using Alice as well as how to get Alice and also how to get the iOS um, uh, developers kit, kit and enroll in the iPhone or iOS um, program so you can download them if you already haven't. We'll need that at some time, some of the recommendations with using dual monitors and then the terminology for what an IDE, an object, a programming language is as well as functions, events, and methods. All right, and so tonight we're going to start off with classes, instantiation, and then manipulating that class to accomplish something. We're going to do this all in Alice. And again, nice thing about Alice is we don't need to learn the complex IDE right now. We can focus on just the principles and then do the same thing um, in Xcode. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start uh, Alice 2.2. I'm using Alice 2.2 as opposed to the 3.0 beta of Alice. Um, doesn't really matter. They're very similar and uh, for what we're doing and learning about um, there's no difference there so go ahead and start up Alice it takes a little bit uh, some time to load I'm running a couple things in the background here so just kind of bear with me as Alice starts on up And for those that are attending live, if you can hear my voice and see the screen, go ahead and raise your hand. I just want to make sure I have everything set and configured correctly. And feel free to ask any questions along the line. So if you can raise your hand, then I know you can hear me. All right. All right, so um, I, f I really recommend that you run these tutorials here. You can do some very complex things uh, with Alice, um, write some very uh, complex and interesting programs. The nice thing about Alice is, is it allows you to, um, to visually see things that you necessarily wouldn't see until you get um, and do things uh, that you couldn't do in Xcode until you get really far along in the learning curve. So. Anyway, I am not going to run any of the tutorials. I'm just going to hit cancel. Well, mm, let's see. I'm going to choose a template here. 
and I'm going to pick the space template instead of having the normal grass and sky here. I'm just going to pick the space uh, um, template and I'm going to say OK. And like the book, I'm going to, um, and you can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, my objects and I'm going to go with the astronaut, the astronaut theme. And I'm going to look at my different objects that I can choose. And I'm going to go over here. I believe there's a space one. I like the space one. Grew up in the 60s and 70s, and space uh, was quite the thing back then, back when we had a space program, the US did, and unlike what's happened lately. And I'm going to add a couple things, a couple of classes to my, uh, my view. And this process of copying a class and allocating its memory and adding it to your view is called instantiation. It's a big word basically meaning copying your objects. And that's kind of big. I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And the book walks you through all these different controls, but you'll be able to see it here. I'm going to select resize and resize it down. And I'm going to add an astronaut here. And sometimes when you add two astronauts, which I'm going to do here, they'll appear one on top of the other. You just have to be aware of that. It's There's really two there and just kind of move it um, to the side. I'll go back to my move object. I'll put one there and put one there and maybe make, um, rotate them so they kind of look at each other right now. All right. So I got them in my view here, and that's good enough for this particular example because we're just going to have it say, hello world, which is sort of the traditional first app that all developers do. Um, I have my two different objects. They're all from the astronaut class, but they're individual copies. They're separate copies. They, they don't have, if I change the data or the position of one, it doesn't affect the other. It's, it's, uh, they're, they're separate objects, but they're from the same class. And then, of course, I have my lunar lander um, uh, object out there as well, and I can manipulate it. But for tonight, we're just going to go ahead and work with one of the astronauts. So we're going to pick the, uh, the astronaut that we want to work on. And um, let's just make it, uh, I don't know, let's make him move. Let's make him move. Let's see. We're going to make him turn left about a meter. Okay, so we're going to make him move. And then we're at the end of it. We're just going to say, um, hello, world. All right. So here. Here is my object, my astronaut object, and here are my methods. Remember, from our definition of what a method does, a method applies action to our object. And our object is basically anything that we want to be acted upon. It could be a plane, an astronaut, a boat, a fish, whatever. In this case, it is a, um, an astronaut from the astronaut class. All right, now notice I'm doing it to this astronaut here. It's affected, this one isn't, all right? If we've done everything correctly. And let's go ahead and play it and see what happens. All right, so hopefully you're able to see that. It moved a meter and then said, hello world. So let's go ahead and restart it. And you can see it move a meter and say, hello world. All right. Well, we have some, these guys are parameters. Remember, our methods do act, our methods do action. And in this case, the move method, it's action. It takes a parameter, um, one parameter that says move left one meter. But we can have some other um, parameters that we can also do as well that are optional. Well, I like this parameter here, this more guy here. And because I may want that astronaut to say hello for and appear for more than two, one second. We can make it for two seconds. We could actually make it do for whatever we want it to for maybe six seconds. All right, so we'll hit play. 
and it's going to say hello world for about six seconds. Four, five, and six. There it goes. It goes away. All right. So tonight's um, topic was basically to take what we've learned about actions um, with our methods, apply them to our objects to get the results that we want. Now, we're going to do the same thing in our next session. We're going to do an Objective-C application inside Xcode that will say Hello World as well. All right, well, I hope this was useful. If you have any co comments or feedback, feel free to um, shoot me over an email at gary at excelme.com, um, and I'd like to hear it and make these more useful as well. And I hope you found it interesting and helpful, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody.